Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul, but we went to the Chambersburg, Pennsylvania store, and that is the store that is switching out their freezer section. They still have a lot of the dollar twenty-five items, but they're putting in three, four, and five dollars. And we were pretty impressed the last time we went, but they had just started changing it. So we were in the area and we stopped to see what else they would have this time. And we picked up several items. Now keep it in mind, all these items are not $1.25. These are more and I did write down and I did get online and I cross checked the prices at Walmart. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and give you those prices as well. We picked up two more of this Screamin' Sicilian Strombolis. We really, really like them. And this was the Supremus Maximus. You get one in each box and they were $4 a piece. At Walmart, they have a two count of just the pepperoni flavor for $7.48. So these are very comparable for you know just the pepperoni for $7.48. If they had a two pack of this Supremus, Supremus Maximus, I would assume it would be a little bit more since you get more stuff in the Stromboli, but I don't know. I think it's still a great deal. It, it was, did I say that? It was $4 at DT, $7.48 for a two pack at Walmart. <clears throat> Next is the, the Jimmy Dean croissants. And we buy these all the time at Walmart, a bigger box of course, but these are the sausage, egg and cheese croissants. It's a two count at Walmart for a two count. It is, I'm sorry, let me take that back. For a four count, they don't have a two count at Walmart. They have a four count. It is $6.58 at Walmart. For a two count, it's $3 at the Dollar Tree. So that would be $6 for four. So it's 58 cents cheaper at the Dollar Tree. I think that's a great deal. Hubby likes these a lot just for a really quick, easy breakfast. They had the Totino's Pizza Rolls and it is a 24 ounce bag and it is a 50 count. It says it on here somewhere, right down here, a 50 count. And these are the combination flavor. And let me find it on my list here. The Totino's 50 count, exact same thing. We paid $5 for that at Dollar Tree. It's $5.48 at Walmart. So it is a 48 cent savings at DT. Next, <clears throat> they had a lot of the Red Baron items out, which I believe this is the frozen pizza that Allison, my daughter, the holistic homesteader, that she really enjoys. They had these deep dish. You get two pizzas in here. They had the Supreme and the pepperoni. They're two packs and these where, let me find them on my list. The deep dish at Walmart, same exact thing, two packs. At Walmart, it was $4.18. At Dollar Tree, these are $3. So it's a $1.18 savings at the Dollar Tree per box. They were $3 a piece at the Dollar Tree, $4.18 at Walmart. And I believe this is probably what we're gonna have for supper tonight. Then they had the full size Red Baron pizzas, and they were all the same price at Walmart. These are from Dollar Tree, the Red Baron Classic Crust Four Meat Pizza, the Classic Crust Four Cheese Pizza, and you can always throw your own pepperoni on that. On that. And then they had the Brick Oven Crust Pepperoni. At Dollar Tree, these were $4 a piece. At Walmart, they're $4.68 a piece. So that is a 68 cent savings at a Dollar Tree. I was, I was thinking there for a second. Yeah, they were $4 and $4 and 68 cents at Walmart. So a 68 cent savings per pizza. I think that is an excellent deal. And yes, I know that this is a lot of junk food, but to have in the freezer, why not? And then this is something that I thought was very interesting. They had this Sea Best salmon. And it says flavor three, and it means it's robust, medium texture, tells you the different ways you can cook it. It is a 10 ounce bag of the salmon. Hubby really loves salmon. 
at Walmart. They sell this exact brand, the Seabest brand at Walmart. And did I write it down? I hope I wrote that down. I did. At Walmart, they have a 32 ounce bag. So I divided that by three to get about a 10 ounce. 10 ounce bat, or t about 10 ounces of the salmon at Walmart is 650. This 10 ounce at Dollar Tree is $5. So per 10 ounces, it's $1.50, $1.50 cheaper. Excellent. And then I picked these up again. Last time I went, didn't realize till we got home and these only rang up for a penny. So this time I thought, you know, I'm just gonna take the chance. I saw one in the freezer section, so I grabbed it and I thought, well, if I have to spend $1.25, that's okay because these are good. And then I saw another one and I thought, do I wanna spend another $1.25 if they are $1.25? But they weren't, they rang up for a penny a piece again. So that makes me very happy. And these are so good, just nice to have in the freezer when the grandkids come around or afternoon snack for the bigger kids. You can just take these out individually, one, let them thaw, put them in the toaster oven. They're so good. Just keep an eye on them because I actually made myself a couple the other day and it was only half the time they were baked and so be very careful, keep an eye on those. And then they had ground beef, ground beef at the Dollar Tree. A, and this is a one pound ground beef. It is the Stampede brand. This is 70-30. And I want to see here if the best buy is September of 23. I want to see if I can see where this is made quickly. And Hubby's standing off the side here. And he says it's made in Illinois. I'm tr still trying to get used to this phone, guys. And it actually focusing for me and I'm having troubles with that. But hubby says these are these are from Illinois. So if you guys have tried this let me know. And hubby, I didn't write this down. How much was the hamburger? Do you, these were five dollars a pound and I looked on Walmart and our one pound and I, I believe it was 8020 was 468. So it was a little bit more expensive at the Dollar Tree than Walmart. But not much. You don't want to run to Walmart? Pick it up at Dollar Tree. And then we thought these were interesting. Same brand, the Stampede brand. And these are boneless beef ribeye steaks, mechanically tenderized. And it is a 5.5 ounce. And they looked pretty nice to me. They're, they're kind of frosty frozen, guys. That I'm doing this right when we got home so that I can throw them in the freezer. Best Buy on these is June of 23. Thought that was interesting. And these were $5 a piece. And I honestly, I didn't even look it up to see what boneless ribeye costs right now in the grocery store, but it has to be comparable, I would think. So we're gonna try those one night. And on that note, in one of my last hauls, I showed you guys, and it was from the Chambersburg store, we had picked up the pork chops. We had them last night for supper and they were delicious. So nice and thick, they stayed juicy. I baked them in the oven with, um, it's kind of like shake and bake and it's called oven fry. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that, but it's our favorite. I always get the chicken flavor. I just coated the pork chops in that and baked them in the oven for about 25 minutes and they were excellent. I would buy those pork chops again. But I think the last thing in the freezer section were these Korean style steamed dumplings by the Bibigo, Bibigo company. These are the steamed dumplings. And this one is chicken and vegetable, sauce included. This one is pork and vegetable. And this one doesn't say about sauce included, does it? Juicy dumplings, yep, dipping sauce included. And these were $3 a box at the Dollar Tree, and I believe these were the only flavors they had, the chicken and vegetable and pork and vegetable. These were $3 a box at Walmart. The exact brand at Walmart is $3.24. So another savings if you would pick these up at the Dollar Tree. So yeah, we thought that was some pretty interesting finds this time. I'm really curious to go back in maybe a month or so and see if they got any more you know, different types of items. 
it seemed like there was still a lot of space on their shelves for more of the three and four and five dollar things. So if you guys are shopping in stores like that, you know, kind of comment down below and let us know what else is out there in that section. So, all right, guys, just thought I would show you this real quick. If you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.